all, this is Neva from Manic Mama Musings, and this is Finding Neva number two. I have to apologize for yesterday's video. I kind of put it together in all cattywampus. If you don't know what that means, it's all mixed up. It was not in order, but apparently you liked it, so just so you know, that's how my brain works a lot of times. That's why I do my song of the day playlist because that way you can see that I go from Frank Sinatra to Five Finger Death Punch. So, um, yeah. Um, let's see. I did not pick a song of the day. Today's song of the day is. Mm. Oh no, I'm talking out loud. Sorry. Hey, you pick one. I can't think of one. <laughs> Uh, yesterday was celebrate, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, rehab, rehab by Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. I do appreciate that woman's voice and music. R.I.P. Amy Winehouse. So. I wasn't going to get to the song of the day, but since that song of the day is Rehab by um, Amy Winehouse. Um, what's in my cup? Mornings really do blow. I don't, I am not, I've never been a morning person. When I had my kids, it took me a long time to get, okay, so I was never a morning person. Then I had children and it was an automatic be awake off and on all the way through the night and early in the morning, especially with my oldest because she never slept. As a toddler, if I was not up before her, there was no telling what she was going to be doing. So anyway, not a morning person. Then when my kids, I'm finally back to not being a morning person. LJ wakes me up, puts a cup of coffee by the bed, and part of it's the brain fog. Though. And then I my, run. My fibro, he does not run. Um, my fibro um, is part of my problem in the mornings because I hate it that I can't. Uh, fully focus on stuff. So today's coffee is pumpkin spice coffee with pumpkin, with spice. pumpkin spice creamer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Double the pumpkin for double the Neva. Something, Something. Like that. I don't know. So um, it is day, it is January 2nd. Okay. And it says, did you know? If you want to get a better grade on a group project, find a common enemy. Studies show that when you're working on a group project, negative feelings about someone or something outside the group, like hatred of the teacher, brings the group together and leads to better work. However, negative feelings about something inside the group, like one person not doing their job, can tear it apart. Our country is proof of this, you guys. Because, you know... Um, It's just, I wish we could all get on the same page, but unfortunately we are divided. But our, I feel like this, um, I, I feel like this, uh, represents, um, our country so well, this one right here. So that was January 2nd. Um, <clears throat> so sorry. Okay. So our journal prompt for today, if you are journaling with me, I mean, you'll have to go back and, um, if you'd like to journal with me and me send you the journal prompts, um, then email me and I'll gladly daily try to, I'll try to remember daily to email you the journal prompts and we could journal together. I mean, we don't, we don't read our personal stuff together, but I mean, if you think this is a good idea, you don't want to go buy the book, I would gladly just send you the prompts. And it's something I'm, I'm hoping that this book really helps me to get into journaling because I feel like a mind dump is a good thing. And I always start one and I don't finish. Like last year, I, he bought me this and I literally put the date on one page and that was it. So let's hope this year's better. It says, we are often too hard on ourselves and focus more on our failures than our victories. What are some of the victories you need to celebrate and be thankful for? Yesterday's was kind of depressing for me. And so I think today's is going to, I'm not depressed because of it, but doing it, it was a good thing, but it made me think about some real rough times. And so this one will be more of looking at the brighter side of it. 
And our inspirational quote for today from the book is, I am thankful for my struggle because without it, I wouldn't have stumbled upon my strength. That is so true for so many people. The strongest people I know had a very rough beginning. And so that is awesome. And that was by Alexandra L. E. L. L. E. So that's for the book. We did our calendar. Okay, song of the day. <clears throat> okay, the month. Uh, um, I forgot to. I'll do that later. Um, I was going to talk about. I'm going to join in on a crochet along like for January uh, on top of my sparkly one. I already kind of started it without knowing someone was doing one. And so I'm just going to join in on theirs. And it's, and the two ladies doing it is, um, Lottie from Enjoying the Journey, Cancer is a Lifestyle. She will be, um, her video about it will be linked below. I, I, this woman is an inspiration to me more than she will ever know. And then also Nana's Crochet Ideas, who is also an inspiration to me and a beautiful woman. I will link her below, but it's hashtag January finishing whips. And that's what I'm going to try to do is finish whips. The one that I am finishing up now was a blanket for my daughter for one of the twins for um, Christmas. And it's just a, a big granny square blanket. She wanted black and it's going to go on top of, it'll be on top of, well, it'll be, anyway, I don't know what I was trying to say. But she wants it uh, queen size pretty much. So I've got quite a ways to go. Do not mind all the hair and lint. It is black yarn and I have cats. So anyway, so that's one of them. And let me show you where I'm at. And maybe I'll start putting a stitch marker where I'm at and show you how much I've crocheted on it every day. Um, let's see. Okay, Neva. I, I do this to you all the time. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, where is it? Where am I? Dang it. Okay. Do, do, do. I ask those questions all the time. I'm like, where am I? Well, yeah, I Okay, this is frustrating me. I'm going to cry now. No, um, it's got to be right here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Duh. Okay, so <laughs> I'm right here. So I will show you how far I crochet. Um, I think I'm also going to start keeping track of the minutes and, and that I crochet. I should have started yesterday. I didn't, I didn't even do it this morning. I am going to start timing myself on how long I crochet. And maybe even how much I can crochet in 24 hours. Not meaning like from 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. But like once I add up 24 hours, what I crocheted in that time. Maybe. But for sure I'm going to keep up with my time. Oh. Okay, so I'm doing that one. I'm also going to do Stitch Your Library. Or when I'm looking for new things. To, I'm looking for something to make. Um... I'm going to start doing, and I don't just mean, because, uh, and that is Yarn and Pajamas and Yarn Joy Podcast are doing that, and I'm going to just sneak in there with them, and um, I mean, like, my library, like, I've got so many video tutorials on YouTube that I just want to try, like, hats, I think I'm just going to try, that's how, where I'm going to find my hat patterns, uh, I mean, look, Crystal bag has got a lot, she should be Bag-A-Day Hat-A-Day, actually. But um, anyway, mm -hmm. so when I do that, I'm going to show you the pattern that I'm going to use, or I will link the tutorial for you. Um, tonight I'm making beans, bean soup for dinner. Um, I'm going to cook some navy beans, and then I'm going to add some of the cracked chicken to it, so it'll make it kind of creamy, and I'll add meat to it. And I will put some aside for the twins, because... In case I haven't told y'all, they're vegetarians. I think I've mentioned that before, but for my new viewers, my twins are vegetarians, and so they usually cook for themselves, but if I make beans or something, I usually make some for them and put without meat. And the movie that we will be reviewing, from now on it'll be in our videos, but if you want to watch a movie with Betty White's voice in it, we watched Tom Sawyer, and we found it on Tubi, which you can get on the Roku for free. Um, it was a cute little movie, so <laughs> we're going to do a review of it and I'm going to show you the square, um, when we get a chance, but I haven't made the square yet. So, but I told you Betty White is our theme for the month. And so I'm going to be watching some Golden Girls. I watched some Mary Tyler Moore yesterday. 
so sad that she's gone. Um, dear Betty White. So uh, I will continue on. I will show you how much I crochet on this blanket today. If I crochet on it or if I crochet on anything else. Hand me that over there, baby. This thing? The suit coast. Yeah. So I also wanted to show you guys something I made. That this was my first one. And then I made my daughter one because she got sick. She was the last one to get sick out of all of us. And so I was feeling not still not good, but good enough to crochet. And so I made her a bowl cozy and I put some ramen noodle soups, dry ones in the bowl and we took it, he took it over there to her. But, um, I use charm Grammy crochet. I think that's her name. I will link her below. Um, I used her tutorial. And so this was my, you know, my very first one, but I will be making more of these. And I used my Christmas yarn. It's got the little handle where you can pick it up and carry it to... We don't have a dining room. You know, we don't have a kitchen table because our house just isn't big enough. So this is kind of nice for us because we can hold the bowl if we need to. And it won't be too hot. So I will link this tutorial because I'm going to make more of those. Each one of my family members is going to get one. And then I may make them up for like charity and craft shows. Um... I will be back um, with our Betty White quote tonight and talk about what all I, I know I'm going to nap today because I didn't sleep super great, but um, I will talk about what, what I did and what all I accomplished or didn't accomplish today. And um, so I'll be back in a little bit. I love y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm back to wrap it up. So, today was a uh, crochet and watch YouTube and take a nap day. I guess I'm still in my pajamas because I did not go anywhere. The roads were slick because of the, the rain and snow. And we only got a little bit, but it put a thin layer of ice on the streets. And as you know, that's not a go down to 10. So, that was a slippery son of a gun. And I didn't have anywhere to go. So, I crocheted and I made some... Navy bean, well, really the crock pot did, but I did put it all together. Navy bean and chicken soup. There's a little clip of my bowl in, that will be in the video. Um, there will also be pictures at the end of my grand pups making the cutest faces. Um, I've decided to save the pictures for the end. So if you want to look at the pictures, you know, then watch all the way to the end. And if you don't want to, then you aren't like sitting there staring at the beginning of all those pictures. I decided pictures go at the end from now on, unless there's a specific reason. Cause I don't have a computer to be able to insert photos and whatnot. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm working with what I got. Y'all know that. So, um, yes, I made Navy beans and then I added chicken from the crack, the cracked chicken to it. I made it real creamy with that cream cheese. And then I topped it off with some, um, Italian blend cheese delicious he loved it too it was oh, yeah. good and it was perfect for cold weather and it's been cold all day um i want to i already talked about stitcher library i believe i think yes okay and um i did 67 minutes of crocheting i probably did more and didn't count it but when i thought to count it and so here's where we were when I talk to you and so I've gotten one two three four rows in working on the fifth so there's that I've decided that since it's a uh, I'm finishing up whips I'm gonna take them one by one in priority this is the number one priority then I have a glove and hat set which will go fast that I've got one whole glove done Part of another glove and then I gotta do the hat which that'll be quick once this is done so that will probably be the next one because it'll go up fast so but that's the my daughter's blanket Christmas blanket which I think I'm gonna start making them blankets every year for Christmas so that means once I finish these I'm gonna start again for next year but um because you can never have too many blankets and then if they get tired of blankets then I'll quit making them I, maybe I'll just start I'll make them a holiday blanket or once a year Something like that. So, get the idea. Um, 
I want to say congratulations to Mama G Gear. She hit 500, which in case you didn't know, means that you can use your community tab when you hit 500 and you can start tagging people, which is where you can put the at and if they've got over 500 subscribers. So she can be tagged and she can tag people and you can put the at symbol and their name instead of looking up the whole length for their channel. And when people click on it, it will take them to that channel. So congratulations. Mama G Gear and Rusty, because Rusty is part of that. Um, big hooray. She was excited. I was watching her video. She's talking about she was almost to 500. And so once I finished watching the video today, which I put it in my community tab. So if you go look at my community page, um, her video is there. Um, great if you would go subscribe. Um, she does all kinds of stuff. She's a very talented woman. I want someday to have the money to have one of her top hats because they are freaking amazing. Anyway, super talented lady, Rusty. Her daughter is, um, Kyoshi's she's trying to get in the bathroom. Don't even ask. Um, we have a cat that scratches at the door to go into the bathroom for no obvious reason. So, um, but they're very talented ladies. They make me laugh. I love them. They have all kinds of content. So. I also would like to say, let's help some other people get to 500. My wonderful friend Trisha from Trisha's Creative Treasures, she needs to get to 500. Did I say 100 or 500? I think you anyway, said 500. Get them to 500. She needs to get to 500. Coping with Yarn is very close. Lisa from Coping with Yarn is very close. She does Mental Health Mondays. She's also the one that I'm going to do um lives with every once in a while for like once a month for mental health monday so i would love it if you'd go check her out i i love listening to her she read et she she talks about yarn her kids are a hoot when she tells stories just yeah okay also melody's cozy crochet she needs to get to 500 and she is a wonderful woman who i have become friends with um trisha Melody and April are all in on the the sparkly new year. Um, Melody, she did a swap with yarn and pajamas. She um, talks about yarn and her crochet projects. She took a mini vacation for New Year's and I think that's awesome. Um, but she will be back soon with um, the, uh, videos. And then there's Tool Time Adventures. That's April. She needs to get to 500. She wants to be able to use her community tab. And... Um, she she lives in an RV, which I just think is cool anyway, because that's kind of a dream of mine that I know will probably never happen, but it's a dream. I, a girl can dream, right? Um, I don't know if my yarn would fit. Well, if I make LJ sleep in the driver's seat. Well, anyway, I don't know. Maybe my yarn would fit. Um, if I have to, I will. I just need a blanket. <laughs> Anyway, but Tool Time Adventures, she's a wonderful, sweet lady who I adore uh, immensely. She's very sweet. Um, please go check her out. They will all be linked below. And I would like to get someone very special to me to 100. He makes music. He and I have been doing podcasts on his channel. And um, maybe, maybe there will be some videos of him trying to teach me to play bass soon on that channel. And it's called KBX Band, and y'all know him as Captain Amazing. Um, if you would go subscribe to him, it would be so nice, because I would love for it to get to, well, I'd like to get it a lot further, but for him to hit 100 in 2022, at least, like the beginning of 2022 would be awesome. And of course, I think he's amazing, because he's mine. But mm -hmm. um, you guys are the ones that named him Captain Amazing, so I will link him down below also. So, that being said, I think I said so a lot in this video, yeah. um, my Betty White quote is not a funny one this time. It says, I think everybody needs a passion, whether it's one passion or a hundred. That's what keeps life interesting. If you live without passion, you can go through life without leaving footprints. The Queen Betty White. So... That being said, I am going to sign off for tonight. Um, those are very wise words. I have been pan passionate about many things. Not my cats right now. The only time they can get along is when the two of them are like they. The only time they can be more than this, like.
closer than this apart, maybe it has to be further, is when they're asleep. Other than that, they fuss, just like children. And our male cat, Kiyoshi, he's fixed. They're both fixed, but he'll sit there. He'll know it's going to bother her. Lucy's the grumpy one. And he, it's like, you know how, if you had kids, you understand. And she, it's like, I'm not touching you. That's like what he's doing. Because he's just sitting there looking at her sideways. like, And he knows, because she's hissing, that she doesn't want him to sit next to her. But he does it anyway, on purpose. Just to get her to act up. I, I promise. It, it It's real. So there will be some photos at the end. And um, I hope you had a wonderful January 2nd. Y'all, I'm really just hoping that this year is the year that everything, not, not everything doesn't have to be perfect, but we've had kind of a rough time since 2018 when my mom passed. Okay. And so 2022 and, and other people have had it worse. Some people have lost more than one family member. Well, we lost my mom. We lost his dad so on and so forth but they weren't like right now anyway it wasn't good but we haven't had it the worst but I would just like 2022 to be better in so many ways like the virus to take a chill for mother nature to decide what she's doing for humans to decide to be kind that's that that one's a far-fetched one. We know that. But we can hope. And we can start by being kind humans. Okay, now I'll stop. I love y'all. Bye. Here is my bean soup with uh, chicken in it. I can't take any um, credit for it because the crock pot did the work. But it's delicious. I decided I wanted more protein in there. And we didn't have any meat to put in there at the time except for the chicken from the cracked chicken y'all made it so creamy with that cream cheese it's delicious little bits of bacon oh my goodness it's yummy